tutorial for Illustrator CS5 and the use of brushes and modification of brushes. The brushes I'll be using in this are an artistic brushes set from graphicextras.com called Toost, pack 29. Right, now I've got Illustrator CS5 open here, so I'm just going to go to the brushes palette. You can find that in the window, so you go brushes there. It's not available, so I'm just going to so now display there. Go to the right side and open brush library, other library. Go from there and I've got my brushes in a folder here. So I'm just going to go through to the brushes and down to two brushes and just going to select that one. Now the pack's got a hundred different brushes, but it's actually got some variant brushes. I'm just going to use one of the variant brushes sets. So I'm just going to select a brush. Now, at the moment, it's just available only in the library. It's not available in the actual brushes. So I'm just going to select the brush, click brush there. That's the only one I'm going to use. There's lots of other brushes as well, but I'm just going to select that one. Right, now drag that out of the brushes palette, and I'm just going to quickly resize it so it's a bit more visible. Right, so, so I'm just going to just really add just a quick basic background to it. So I'm just going to go ungroup because it's actually got a brushes definition around it. So you can actually see there a brushes definition. So I'm just going to go to recolor that. That's what you would actually get if you just open that. And I'm just going to actually resize that because I want that as the background to the brush. So I'm just going to create just a nice strip down through the thing. At the moment, the brushes have actually got no color so i'm just gonna just quickly use that so you now that's a new brush well it's not a brush yet i've just got to actually define it as a brush i'm just going to drag it over to the brush palette and then I'm just going to select the art brush i could say it's a scatter brush but it's actually an art brush just maybe it's slightly better okay and then you'll get all the various settings so you can actually change various things the widths and whatever other set pressures and whatever right what i want to do is stretch to fit stroke length and I'm just going to, it's got the correct direction so you can change the direction if you wish, you can make it up, I think obviously maybe not so great. Also you can set a method of colorization so I'm just going to go say I'm going to select that as tints. Right, click OK, now that will be defined as art brush one and then you will see it in the palette there. Right, just going to select on that. Now I'm just going to apply it quickly to uh, a, a path. Now you can apply it to text, you can apply it to uh, other things you can also use appearances uh, to create uh, unusual combinations of brushes. There's there's thousands of different things you can do with brushes, and of course, like I say, you can redefine it as a scatter brush, or again modify it, combine maybe multiple entries of the same design as a single brush. Right, just going to select that. So now, because I put the tint option, is actually tinted to red. It would have otherwise it would have just had the colour it, it originally had. So I'm just going to say say blue, so you actually get a blue tint to the design. Of course you can change the size of the stroke. Three. So it's actually a really useful way of creating really unusual designs very quickly just with just by selecting a simple brush. And like I say you can redefine the brush which actually will create different designs as well. So uh, it's uh, it's a quite an infinite toolbox just from even a basic simple design. Because at this point now you can of course drag that once you've just you could actually expand the appearance then drag that into the brushes and create that as, say, as, as a scatter brush. So, uh, which I could quickly do, but I'm not going to do it for this tutorial. But that's uh, something you could definitely do, or maybe as a pattern brush. Uh, and then, of course, you can apply various effects to it or export it to other applications like such as Photoshop uh, and all those. So, right, that's a quick tutorial on the brushes and modification of brushes.